The new update with the Gepper Trainer has changed every fighting style and has made certain fighting styles better than others. And let's just start at F tier. We have no fighting style or melee or whatever it's called. This fighting style right here is the base you start with. It basically has nothing and you start with this and it's mid and it's trash and that's why it's at the bottom of the F tier. Not a lot to say about this but yeah. So let's move on to one sort of style. One sort of style is an exceptional, um, a pretty good uh, fighting style, but it is usually only used by people who don't have their fruits and usually by low levels. It's pretty good to use when you are new at the game, but this uh, certain fighting style takes a lot of stamina, but can't take can you know dish out damage. And I mean, this uh, style is difficult to use in PvP, and uh, that's why uh, it's at the F tier. It's only good at the start of the game to get the new fighting style, but after that, it's not that good. And after in terms of PvP, this is kind of mid, mid, mid as hell. So, what I say, and let's move on to the next. We have Electro or the Mink Combat. Mink Combat is still bad, even if you know whatever. It's a mainly stun fruit that gives you a few, you know, frames to attack, you know, to make some high damage combo. But the problem with a Mink and Electro is that it's exclusive with people with Mink as the race, and that's like a 5% chance to get, I think, maybe, maybe more or less 10%, maybe. Uh, also, it's just, it doesn't do a lot of damage, as we all know. And I say, it's just not it. You know, it's very, 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 very mid. And also, most moves are in the medium range. But it's better than before because now it has mobility because you can get to the Gepo Trainer. Alright, let's move on to the A tier. We'll be starting off with Black Leg, Black Leg, the universal. A uh, fighting style that you use every time you start off in GPO, it's an exceptional fighting style, and I'd say it's probably the best uh, farming fighting style. The only reason I put it down here is because um, it's so easy to get, and it's, it's by itself, it's not crazy after get the trainer update. So before it was an S tier, but right now it, it's it's fallen down a bit. So black leg in itself is a very very good for low levels and can help you do ship farming since you're granted with Gepo and stuff like this and the max damage is uh, for the M1 is 40 if you have 361 skill points in strength and that's really everything it has a bunch of good moves especially potted table kick cores which you can use to farm mobs and kill them this is especially good for people that are starting off in GPO and try to get the max level you should use this and the second spot we have at A tier is Rokushiki. Rokushiki had an use before, um, let's say before uh, you know the Gepa Train update, but right now it's it's uh, it's mainly a PvP fruit because this fruit right here is good, but it's mainly used in PvP a lot. In PvP it is good, but by itself uh, Rokushiki does not have a lot of damage so you have to always couple it up with a terror fruit or something else though the good things about uh, Rokushiki is that you have stuff like Tekken I mean Tekai which you can use to basically you know high frame and block attacks completely so you don't get like you, attacks cannot hurt you for a certain so a couple of like seconds or something so really like quick dash super fast like very very good and you have uh, shigan like the finger finger like hit something like this and geppo and rayak where it shoot out you know stuff like this and as a whole the advantages here are there are only three damaging moves that are hard to hit it's very bad for grinding it does not do a lot of damage but it has a lot of good utility moves like soru which was uh, you know the dash Gepo and Tekka, which is the block. It's very good for avoiding attacks and blocking high damage deal attacks with Tekai. And it's a good uh, f uh, fighting style if you use as a you know combination with a Derufu. And that's really everything about Rokushiki. Get it if you want to. It's a very very good fruit for PvP. That's what I say. S tier. Here we have a couple. We have two source style after Gepo Trainer. Juicer style has become an exceptional, exceptional, exceptional uh, funny style because in terms of PvE, it has two block breakers, it has a consistent stamina usage, 
and you can make super long combos chains and it's crazy and this is an exceptional fruit with a gepo and it will allow you to basically go crazy especially with a dare fruit unless you have spin now you'll be able to go crazy in pvp as well as in pve so truly this is an all around fighting style for people who are in the second C. If you all right so the next we have is diablo jamble diablo jamble is an exceptional 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 fighting style as diablo jamble is not only high damaging but before before diablo jamble was not that good because it ate your stamina diablo jamble is pretty expensive but you can get it at the f uh, first C. it's pretty expensive though all, all everything you need to about Diablo Jamble is that basically it's the extension of Black Leg, it's transformation of Black Leg, and pretty much, literally Diablo Jamble has some crazy, crazy, crazy damage right now, and I'd say this might be the strongest fighting style, maybe. Um, but uh, you know, it's is contested between Diablo Jamble and you know, of course, Two Source. Uh, but as I said, this might be the strongest fighting style, Diablo Jumping. And that's except we have one, mo one more. And we're not done. We have Fishman Karate. This one is not uh, uh, the top because the reason Fishman Karate is not at the top is because it has an exclusive, uh, exclusive race, which is that you have to be a Fishman to get Fishman Karate. And it has a rarity of 5% to become a fishman. And this is uh, very, very um, hard to get the race as a whole. But as for fishman, it's a very, very good death rate, especially with the Gepo train, because this is good for both PvP and farming. It has a very, very good ultimate that is a lot of damage and has amazing com combo potential. And it has a very, very good, brick, good block break, which is the 5000 brick fist. And you, but the only problem is you need fishman race and uh, now because of we have the cap trainer it's been buffed basically because it has uh, you know aerial combat now so you can hit people from areas uh, like from the air which makes this an exceptional therefore which you want to get that's really all I got to really say guys the video's been going not too long and also check out my video on the devil fruit tier list and that's all I gotta say peace